it's all over but the grind And nobody's crying but me Friends all over, so I'm crying Something <laughs> new stranded here But you can assure Dr. Braun the great work is ready to begin. Good, very good. Vault Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergency. <laughs> You're from a vault, but you are clearly not with vault -Tec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? It was the neighborly thing to do. Such a fine sense of civic duty. Very laudable. Sounds like you've had a pretty tough time. I've had many dark days down here. Even despair. But the work, always the work, sustained me. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff, trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played out, I see opportunity. Let us work together, as partners. Let's do this, then. Good. Excellent. We cannot begin until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. <clears throat> this. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long, huh. but we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. Let's find ourselves a guinea pig. The Vault Tech Handbook urges overseers to refrain from using that word. No matter how apt. I see you've already turned on the Vault's radio beacon. Good. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments.
First, however, what do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? It's all right. We're the good guys. Just answer the questions. Hmm, you seem... All right. Okay. From what I heard, them governments are why everything's radioactive. You won't do for our... special assignment. But welcome to our vault. Your new home. If she is representative of what's left above, the outside world must be rougher than I imagined. Are you ready for the next interview? Let's continue. All right. Hello. Welcome to Vault 88. This is a real nice place you have here. Real nice. And I can go wherever I like, right? Within reason, yes. But I have a question for you. Sure, sure. What do you want to know? A hypothetical. Let's say the reactor core is melting down, and you're the only one who could stop it. Is there something wrong with your reactor? No, no, it's fine. Just pretend, so you can stop the meltdown. But you'd suffer from extreme radiation exposure. What would you do? Well, whatever you'd like. If you don't mind, I'm anxious to look around. If you're thinking about ripping us off, don't. Listen, it's hell up there. If you really give me food and a place to stay, I'll be good. Just don't go expecting me to jump in a reactor for you. I think we could use him in our vault. As long as you guys are on the level, I'll give this thing a try. Honest. I appreciate your... candor. You can stay, but... you're not what we're looking for. Go ahead and get acquainted with your new home. What a... colorful gentleman. Clearly, he won't work for our experiments. Here's hoping third time's a charm. Let's do the next interview, then. As you say. Hello. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I am so happy to be here. Hi. My name is Clem. Uh, yes. Clem, is it? Before you settle in. I have some questions. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I I'll answer anything you like. Well, uh, that's good. Here's a scenario. You've been assigned guard duty. You know, stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you want. But I don't hear any screaming, Lady Overseer. Would you help the lady or not? Yeah, sorry. Well, if you tell me to guard, I guard. And I won't leave my post unless you tell me to. Is... Is that okay? Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She killed... She killed a mole rat once. Really? Uh, that's remarkable. Describe the traits you most admire about her. Well, she was strong because of the mole rat. And she, uh, uh, she, she fed me. God, I I'm sorry. Th this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. Surely there are other traits you liked about her. Well, no matter how bad things got, she put us kids first. She fought until the end, too. We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. 
Someone to test some new devices that will help everyone. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? I, 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 I mean, yes! I'll help out. I like helping. That's me, Clem. Always willing to help out. Yes. <sighs> I think you'll do nicely. And no time like the present to commence. Now that we have, um, Clem, we are ready to begin. The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. There should be supplies in the welcome area near the entrance. It's all over, but the cry. And nobody's crying but me. 